All right, collectors, here we are again. Uh, this is unboxing number 75. Well, we're really getting up there, I think. Yeah, how about that, huh? Is that right, Ob? Yeah, 75? 75. Wow, I can't believe we've done this 75 times. <laughs> <laughs> Still well, as, every time we do it, it's fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Still uh, not as old as you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's true, I guess, yeah. Not much I can do about that, though. No. But, but anyhow, um, today is uh, May the 18th, 2023, and um, uh, I don't know if we have a lot of stuff, but we'll, we'll see what we can do here. But before we get started, we've got to light a cigar. A good de nobili. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And then a, a little sip. It's only 12 o'clock. I always say it's too early, but who cares? It's okay. We only have one anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. Did you get a drink, Ub? I did. Yeah, I did okay. get a drink. All right. I'm still celebrating my birthday. It's a week-long process. That's You're right. Up. Yeah, Robbie's birthday was a few days ago. How old are you, Ob, or you don't want to say? Uh, 53. 53. Wow. And I still act like I'm 12, and uh, it's great. Well, maybe 11, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, just thinking, uh, nine more years, you'll be able to collect Social Security. Oh, I can't wait. See? What are, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. So anyhow, uh, before we get started, uh, uh, I did get a, a couple pictures from you guys. You know, I've always said if you want to send some pictures in of me and you at a show or something, we'll be glad to, to show them on the on video. Uh, so we got one here, and this is from my friend uh, Jim Jones. He's from uh, Ohio, and uh, there he is. And uh, this was at the um, uh, recent... SOS show in Louisville. Jim's looking good there and I'm sure he had a good time. I know I did. It looks like I found a chair to sit outside and smoke a cigar, so you can't beat that. You're incredible. Thank you, Jim. What's uh, his name? Uh, Jim Jones. Okay. Make sure. Yeah, Jimmy Do Jimmy Jones. <laughs> yep. Okay, Jim. And then one other thing. Um, a few months ago, uh, uh, I had a couple, very, very nice couple from um, Denmark uh, come and visit, and uh, I had never met them before, and uh, uh, they got here uh, pretty early in the morning, I guess it was about 9 o'clock, and uh, uh, they banged on the door, and it's um, uh, Lars and Dina, I think it is, yeah, Lars and Dina Nilsson, and um, the first thing they did, uh, I'm not sure we even shook hands, he handed me a bottle of uh, Danish booze, a, what's he call it, um, uh, Gammel Dansk, and he said, here, you got to have a drink. I said, but it's only nine in the morning. He said, oh, that doesn't matter. So there we are. <laughs> he sent me this photo. It got a little roughed up in the uh, shipping process, uh, but if you want to know how to to get woken up in the morning, that's uh, that's a pretty good drink. That's, uh, that's not a good photo. <laughs> not a good photo? Well, I don't know. It looks all right. But, uh, well, yeah. But thank, thank you for, for this photo, and uh, I hope you'll come see us again, Lars. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, on the, with that nonsense, uh, we'll get on to the unboxing here. Uh, let's see. First, uh, remember last week, need another sip. I told you we were going to go to the Allentown, Pennsylvania show, and uh, me and Ob went there last Friday and uh, ran through the place on Friday afternoon and managed to pick up a couple of things, so I'll show you them because they're not bad. Mm hmm. So we got a, got a few goodies here, nothing uh, uh, really rare, but uh, nonetheless still some stuff. And here's a couple of um, Hitler Youth knives that we got. They're not bad at all. Um, 
this uh, first piece has a um, really a terrific hilt on it. See all the platings there? Good grip plates. The insignia is nice. The leather is still good with a working snap. Uh, and the, the reverse is just as nice. And the scabbard is really nice. Um, original black paint. And let's see what we got a blade here. The blade still has a little bit of the motto on it. It's an early, early blade. I don't know whether you can make that out, Ob. Can you see that motto on there? Looks so. Uh, right as the rain to me. Yeah. It's got the original washer on it. And you know this is an early blade because there's no Ricassos on the early blades. And then the maker here is one that um, uh, you just don't see. Their, their name is uh, uh, Lon something or other with a lamp. I've seen that on SAs before, but I don't think I've ever seen it on an HJ. Could you say that maker again? <laughs> no, I can't. Lon? No. What is it, Lonstrasse or something? You tell me what it is. Um, well, your guess is as good as mine. That's uh, that's a really rare maker there. Yeah. Hmm. So that's not that's not a bad piece and. For you guys looking for HJs, I'm happy to have a couple now and again to offer. And then we we have another nice example here with a um, a really good um, hilt. Um, it's um, got all the nickel plating on both sides, good grip plates, and uh, a really nice uh, leather. Um, it's got that little leaf with the initials in it that you see sometimes in the sure. leather. L, L and S, I think. L, yeah, L and S, something like that. And the uh, scabbard paint is still uh, fairly good. It's original. And uh, let's see what the blade looks like. Wow, it's a real killer. Uh, this blade is just about in uh, mint condition, and it still has the um, cross grain on it. And if you look real close on the Ricasso obverse, you can see there's the the little knight, yeah. which was the logo of um, Anton Wingen. And then uh, on the other side, it has an RZM code, and it's uh, dated uh, 1939. Uh, but look at that blade, collectors. You, you won't see a, yeah. an HJ knife with a with a blade like That's that. That's a nice piece. I like that little knight on the Ricasso like that. Isn't that cool? That, yeah. 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 What else is interesting too, um, it's even though it was made in 39, um, Wingen didn't seem to use the pot metal. It still has a steel base and that's probably the reason that the plating held up so well. So that's a, that's a half decent piece there. In fact it's more than that. It's a, it's a very good piece. Uh, the next thing we have here is a, uh, a nice RAD. It's, it's a real early piece, um, and you'll notice it's got a uh, anodized scabbard too, so you know that it's um, initial production. Uh, it's pretty good on both sides. Up oh, the price tag's still on there. I want that on there. And then the um, if you look real close, you can see that it's um, it's stamped also with the BR. 209 I believe that is and um, nice grip plates and all and then when we look at the um, uh, uh, the uh, throat uh, it's also matching stamped see that and this piece was produced by uh, Ed Wusthoff um, uh, all in all it's uh, it's a very, very nice piece, and, and it has a real good blade, good motto. Uh, the only failing on it is it's got a, it's got a little split in the, um, in the top here, uh, which we see sometimes, but uh, uh, I guess that's the nature of the beast. It's very rare that we're going to see something completely perfect. But anyhow, that's a, that's a pretty nice um, RAD there. Oh, nice that's condition. That's a nice RAD. Come on. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, next we have a um, kind of an interesting, um, uh, it's a K98 bayonet and um, 
Uh, it's got the black plastic grips, uh, beautiful bluing throughout. Uh, the bluing is just, just great throughout the scabbard and the hilt. And then the blade also is fantastic in mint condition with all the blue. Hey Pop, can you rem remind me who found that piece at the show? I think, uh, <laughs> I think Mr. Rob found that, yeah. You did, Rob. And of course the numbers match too. Uh, the number is uh, 4833 and uh, you can see that that same number is on the um, top of the scabbard. So that's pretty cool, and um, and there's something even more interesting too about this uh, bayonet. Uh, the man I bought it from uh, researched uh, the stampings that are on this um, uh, scabbard. Uh, I doubt if the camera can pick that stuff up, um, but what it what it says is it's unit marked uh, 16 period. E slash J period R period 1151 Roman numeral 1 and what that was was the 16th Airsatz Jaeger Regiment um, 1151 and it was with the 15th Panzer Division which was the Africa Corps so just a little thing like that can really make for a, uh, a really nice um, really nice item that you ordinarily wouldn't ever think anything of. I think if you flipped it around the camera could pick it up. Which I oh, I flipped it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, gee, I only, only had one sip too so far. Does the camera see any of that at all? Yeah, it got it all. Yeah, it's a good, good piece. Yeah, it's a good piece. Thank you, Bob, for finding that. Mm -hmm. I probably would have walked right by it. In fact, I probably did walk right by it, and you found it. So there we go. Good deal. All right, so that's that. That's a good, good K K98 there. And let's see. Uh, this I thought was really nice. Uh, this is a um, uh, just a plain stag grip Luftwaffe bayonet. Um, but the condition is really extraordinary. The um, the plating is um, is really like new on it. Uh, the the stag grips are beautiful. The blade is just as good as it comes. Full mint condition. That real fine nickel plated surface they made. Really really nice. And um, I forget if it's made. Oh yeah, here we go. And there it is. It's a um, it's a Carl Eichhorn too. And it's got the um, original brown uh, frog on it, so we know that this was a uh, Luftwaffe piece. So that's not a bad bayonet. If you're looking for a, a real nice stag grip that uh, you only want to buy one, uh, that might be something to consider. That's a good thing. Uh, I found this at the show, and... Uh, I put it in plastic here because I wanted to make sure that nothing happened to it. Because I don't think you'll ever see an SA as brand new as that. Just look at that. Uh, the cross guards are like brand new. There's no age on them at all. Uh, the scabbard mounts are in perfect condition. Uh, and you'll notice the eagle is the real late zinc eagle. Yeah. Uh, we only see that on real late, late stuff. Uh, it's amazing, you, you, on an SA high leader dagger from that vintage, that too will have a zinc eagle in it. So, and then it has a nice um, hanger uh, to go along with it. And uh, the other side is, is just as nice, uh, completely mint. Really a fine uh, SA dagger. And then this one has, of course, it has a, a, a full mint blade, beautiful blade. Alles for Deutschland, blade is stone mint. And then on the other side of it, it's, um, it's marked uh, M736, which is um, E and F Horster. 
So yeah, I know it's only a late SA, uh, but to find one in that condition is just extraordinary. It, um, it does not appear to me to have uh, ever been issued. So I'll keep it in the plastic here so that it stays nice. All right, that's that one. And uh, we got a couple of uh, a couple of Luftwaffe daggers. We move some of this down a little bit here. Pretty good show, huh? Yeah, this is this was all. <laughs> what did we spend? An hour and a half, Bob, something like that. It wasn't a lot of time. Uh, this is a, um, a really nice uh, second model uh, with the original Porta P on it. Um, beautiful um, silvered scabbard and uh, the grip is just fantastic. Look how dark that is. Um, really, really a, a beautiful thing. Same color all the way around. Uh, really a, um, a choice, choice piece. And then the blade to go with it is also full mint. It's really, really nice uh, Luftwaffe dagger. And this one was produced by um, e f Horster. Really, really great when the outside is perfect and the blade is perfect too. It just doesn't get any better, guys. Yeah, there's some fittings on that, I'll tell you that much. The fittings are yeah, really nice, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah out of the ordinary, you know. Yeah, they're really beautiful aluminum. That's a that's a nice, um, nice look off a dagger. Uh, and this one also came from the same person. And uh, this also is very, very nice. Um, has that egg yolk uh, color grip. Uh, but very nice mounts. Um, you'll notice that the uh, the mount on the scabbard uh, cross guard is the thinner type. And I've told you guys before that that's only one maker Alcozo. And you can see that the pommel is an Alcozo too. Um, and it has a, a, a nice scabbard. Losing my cigar here. Nice scabbard. Um, and this blade also is just about full mint. Really, really good. And uh, there's that uh, Alcozo mark on the reverse. Uh, when you see Alcozo in script like that, That's the late uh, one. that puts this piece at about 1940. It still has the um, the ACS initials, and uh, uh, when they go to the ACR, I guess it AWR, then it's then it's uh, after 1941. So, anyhow, so that's uh, a mid-range one. Yeah, it's a yeah. mid-range. Yeah, made about 1940. Nice stuff. Yeah, not bad. And uh, uh, let's see. Then we got. Uh, I kind of like this a lot. Uh, this is an ashtray with a, a silver uh, rim on the top, but look at the look at the eagles that are etched into the um, uh, glass or um, uh, what do you call it? Not not glass. What do you call it? Um, that's crystal. Crystal. Yeah. That's that's very nice. And then on the top, it has uh, uh, some engraving here, uh, which is. Uh, Let's see, uh, Kriegs Wehrmacht, Ver, um, no, Kriegs Wehrmacht, um, no, uh, Weinachten, I'm sorry, it's uh, Kriegs Weinacht, 1941, uh, Mauer Oberzalmeister. So this was probably a gift from someone to uh, the Oberzalmeister. You know what an Oberzalmeister is, Ob? Unfortunately, a, I do not. No. That is, uh, I believe, the guy that's in charge of the payroll. Uh, it's an <laughs> I important should know guy. That. You should know <laughs> that, right? Yeah. But isn't that a cool ashtray? I think it's cool. Yeah, it's a nice piece. I'm glad we got that. Yeah, I like that. Only like one stogie at a time, though. Pop. Yeah, one stogie <laughs> on there. Yep. Yep. And then I, I got another piece from a, an old old guy. Very nice elderly man. And uh, I think this is pretty neat. 
This is a, um, a Boar's Tusk uh, wine opener, uh, but what's incredible about it, uh, engraved onto the top here are the initials RH, uh, which is for, of course, uh, uh, Reinhardt um, Heydrich. Uh, and I've also had other things with his um, monogram on it, and this monogram is done in the same way as the other things. Uh, also had some silverware that was done the same way. And then there's also uh, SS around here, around the rim with some oak leaves, SS on both sides. Uh, so this was um, probably one of many, but uh, certainly a, um, uh, a wine opener that belonged to Reinhard Heydrich. So that makes it pretty cool, I think. Still got a couple more things yet here. Um, uh, I got two um, two really nice um, uh, Hitler Youth uh, armbands here, also from Allentown. They're both just about mint, but they don't have tags on them. But they're still still really nice, uh, really nice armbands. So that's good. Uh, and then lastly. Almost forgot this one. Ta da! <laughs> uh, it's great when you can get an SS at a show, too. Uh, this is really a nice um, early SS with an anodized scabbard. Uh, the anodizing is not perfect, but it's not too bad. And it's got an um, early uh, vertical on it. Um, nice um, nickel cross guards. Um, perfect uh, grip, nice uh, early um, eagle, um, very nice early SS dagger, and then it also has a perfect um, mint blade with the SS motto. It's very, very nice. And then on the other side, it's just as nice. And you can see it's made by EPNS with the Siegfried Waffen figure there. And then one other thing that's kind of cool, ta -da! an SS serial number stamped into the bottom of the cross guard. Oops. I looked the number up, but um, he wasn't an officer, but still, it's a, uh, it's a very, very nice, uh, very nice SS dagger. Uh, so that was our, uh, that was our Allentown run. It's not bad for a couple hours work, I don't think. We were moving pretty fast, and uh, uh, I don't think we bought any clunkers either. It looks like some pretty nice stuff to me. So, you think it's pretty good, Ob? I thought it was a good trip, Pop. Yeah. All right, next we'll go to the unboxing. Oh, well, okay, uh, guys, we're going to start the unboxing now. Matt Janowski sent me this, I think, from New York. Uh, he's wearing a um, an army uh, officer's uh, tunic and drinking a mug of beer. Um, but the thing that's so extraordinary, um, Matt is about uh, six foot six. So where he found that tunic, uh, I have no idea, but it looks like it fits him pretty good. Thanks for the photo, Matt. He was also the one who did the uh, the bayonet seminar we had. He did, yes, ago. yes, he did. Okay. You guys watched that seminar about the etch bayonets? I hope you did. There's a lot to be learned in that. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, all right. We got a we got a packing list. So let's let's see what we got here. Nice to get a packing list, that way if something gets left in the box, it's not going to get lost because we know we have it. Let's see what we got. Not as easy as it looked. Uh, free bubble wrap. Yeah. But no tape on it though, so that's good. Well, let's see what's here. It looks like an assortment of, uh, of little things. 
And what I do with that Bob Burns cutter here. I oh, lost my Bob Burns cutter. Oh, maybe I don't. Yeah, I probably don't need it here. Oh, it looks like some kind of a, a spoon. Uh, oh, it's from. Uh, it's a large tablespoon. It comes from SS Reich. That's a good one too. I've seen that mark several times. That's a good one. And there's also a um, a nice uh, Wehrmacht pin that was in with that. Pretty nice thing. And let's see what else we got here. Yeah, here's a uh, here's a set of uh, railway tabs. I always thought that uh, railway tabs look attractive. There we go. There's uh, they don't match. It looks like. Uh, but they're still both railway, pretty nice. Well, one's enlisted, but the other one's an officer. Is that it? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> I think you're probably right. All right, that's good. And some more assorted things. Here's a death card. Uh, I never know what to do with these kind of things. I feel sorry for the guy, but I don't know what else to do with it. Um, some kind of a, um, a postal card from a, a policeman. There's the information on that death card. Uh, SS Police mm -hmm. uh, postcard. Uh, see, it's got both insignia uh, yeah, that from the front. Yeah, that one's well known. I've seen that yeah. many times. And it looks like it was used too. So there you go. Dear mom, don't come out here. Yeah, don't come out here. Yeah, yeah, stay home. Stay home. And let's see what else is here. Uh, looks like a couple of armbands. That's a nice one. What is that again? That's a recruiting. recruiting. Yeah. yeah, recruiting. Mm -hmm. You're right, Ob. And here's a nice, uh, just a nice party one. It's in wool. Nicely done. All separate construction uh, and a wear pass I don't know whether to look inside that or not I never know much about these but uh, yeah it's a good one it's got the guy's picture and stuff and quite a bit of information about him it looks like it goes on and on so that's pretty cool for you guys to collect them I know if you understand them uh, there's a lot to be uh, uh, learned in those uh, wear passes and then lastly, it looks like a copy of uh, Der Adler, the Luftwaffe magazine. And it's in pretty good condition. Uh, they usually have wartime pictures and so forth. They're quite interesting. And uh, sometimes we see some pictures with daggers being worn and so forth. Uh, so they're always good to look through. Uh, so that's a nice thing. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's a nice grouping of stuff. Uh, nothing to retire on there, but still uh, some nice items. We can use them, and I'm sure somebody out there would like to have them too. So we'll spread it all around. All right, what do you do with these death cards? I don't, I don't know what you do with them. They just make me nervous. I guess some people maybe collect them and, uh, I don't know, I guess they're, they're kind of sad, I think. Well, I try not to participate in any of the death cards. <laughs> no, you don't want to be a participant. Well, this is not going to be easy to get this out of here. I think we can put this together down here. Letter. All right. Let's see what's next here. A fairly big box here, guys. All right. Let's see what's here. Oh, there's that Bob Burns cutter. There you go. Yep. The mark of quality. Got to have a Bob Burns cutter. 
always work good. I think Bob personally sharpened them all before he sent them over. Isn't that right, Bob? He said, yeah, right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. It looks like a lot of uh, popcorn. Uh, it's one of those boxes inside of a box. Well, I'll have to do this on the floor or something here. See if I can get this out of here without too much turmoil. Oh boy. Well, what are you going to do with Popcorn assures that, uh, that things won't get wrecked, I guess, so that's a good thing. There's padding along the edges here, too, and making it all pretty difficult for women to get this thing out of here with a minimum of mess. Oh, here we go. Uh, we're on the home stretch now, guys. All right, that says top. Mm-hmm. Need a little sustenance. Mm. Ah, that works. Well, let's see what we got here, guys. Uh, you're a piece of work, Pop. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I don't know. You just make me laugh. <laughs> uh oh, more popcorn. Now, this guy is just determined. To make a mess here in Whitman's cellar. Uh, wow, this is a heavy thing. Let's see what this is. Uh huh. Whatever it is, it's very, very heavy. What do you got there? I got a feeling it's going to be a clock. Uh, a porthole clock. That's a good kind. Yeah. Ah. Knit the key. Yeah, well. What these were, guys, uh, uh, these clocks were used in U-boats as well as um, uh, regular ships. And I'm sure somebody was assigned every day to uh, make sure they were wound. And uh, the key generally opens the, uh, the face. Yep, see how it locks closed there. And uh, then you have... Um, uh, it's Kriegs Marine, so you have the Kriegs Marine um, insignia here with the eagle over the letter letter M for Marie or Marine, <laughs> not Marie. That's my wife. <laughs> it's letter M for Marie, and then they're they're all numbered, and uh, it has an N underneath the number, uh, which would um, I believe indicate that the uh, the clock uh, comes from a ship that was assigned in the Nord Sea area, uh, which would be Kiel. And uh, just for the hell of it, let's see whether this baby works. There you go, guys. In working order and in really nice condition. The face is still in really great condition. And um, the <laughs> Not brass... Not yours. <laughs> huh? Not yours. What, my face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. You're welcome. And uh, the uh, the clock is all brass, so if you wanted to shine this up, it would really be uh, really be a nice thing. Uh, so I like that a lot. That's a that's a nice clock. Yeah, it's nice. It's in good condition. Still runs. It's something you could put right up on your collecting wall. Uh, so that's great. Thank you, sir. That's something we can use. That's interesting about the uh, the N on that. Nobody would figure that out. That yeah, that's, Nord uh, C, yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Nord C stood for the uh, uh, key, or no, maybe it was Willemshaven. 
I don't know, it's either Keel or Willem's oven, but uh, either way, a nice, uh, a nice thing there. Okay, that's that. All right, uh, let's see what we got next here. Rolling along pretty good. I hope you're finding this stuff of interest, guys. It's uh, seen a lot of different things so far, so that's good. Let's see. Uh, well, looks like we got a letter. Okay, that's good, and see what's in the box. More popcorn of. Oh boy, we can't get away from it. Mmm. Need a drink to tackle the second one now. Mmm. Uh, yeah, that helps. Alright, well, let's see what's in here. That's a good sign. Oh, another good sign. Oh boy. And yet another good sign. Yeah, I think that's it. And look at this, the, the guys are getting onto the rubber bands around the uh, the bubble wrap. That makes it a lot easier. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. It's easier on the Bob Burns box, cut, box cutters. Oh, but he had to put cellophane around the rest of it. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, no. Uh, this is just impossible to, to get off. Uh, Oh, cellophane. Well, I got lucky and found the right edge here. Oh, I think they're messing with you at this point, Pop. You know. You think they are? He hates the popcorn, loves the rubber bands. <laughs> but then you got the cellophane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe they are messing with me. That's all right. As long as there's good stuff inside, I'll forgive you. Yeah. We got all day. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this looks nice, Ob. Sure. Real early, uh, RAD, no dents in the bottom, really nice uh, original paint. Beautiful furrow and grips. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a super piece. Uh, it's got a little tap, tap, tapping on the top here a little bit, but uh, otherwise the blade looks to in mint condition. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's still got the blackening in the uh, grooves of the cross guard. And it's made by Carl Eichhorn. There we go. That's a nice piece. It is a nice piece, yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice piece. I like that. That's a goodie. Let's see what else we got here. Another rubber band. Hopefully not more cellophane. More cellophane. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you think they're messing with me, Ob? I think they're messing with you, Pop. Let's see whether this comes off all right. Yeah, well. They put paper in there so that it doesn't all stick well, together. Well, let me ask you, have you, have you ever covered a dog or a cellophane no, in no. your entire life? No, never. <laughs> Is it microwavable? Uh, <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, this looks like a very nice, um, very nice SA dagger here. Put a little cloth around the early hanger. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, guys. That's That's pretty... Look at that, the uh, anodizing is really nice. Uh, the grip, the fittings, nice early hanger. Grip fits perfect. Yeah, nice on the reverse too. Nice anodizing on the reverse. I mean, that's really a nice anodized scabbard.
A little smash on the ball, but what are you gonna do? But, Not much, just, yeah. a, just a little thing. Oh, beautiful blade. Nothing wrong with that. Want to the maker? Uh, no. <laughs> I never would guess it anyhow. It's a um, it's a Max uh, Wiresberg. Um, it's got a little bit of a grinding here, but I don't think it's a room dagger. No. Uh, it may just be something somebody did, but otherwise, it's uh, it's really really nice. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Did you get what you wanted, Ob? No? I, I get what I got. Okay. Yeah, right. Too fast again? Too fast. All right. Well, if you want to see it, you can see it. That's nah, all right. OK. OK. It's, it's a right. Max nice Bar. Yes. OK. Let's see what this last piece is. Uh, more cellophane. Look at this cellophane coming into fashion now. I don't know. I don't know. That's not What's, something. It doesn't you... make any sense. That's why I said I think they're messing with you. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's an SS piece too. Oh. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, looks. Um, is that an early eagle? Or hard to tell. It mm. Looks aluminum, doesn't it? Uh, hard to tell for sure. I don't like how that's so uh, 12 o'clock either. Yeah. The scabbard is early. The hanger's early. Paint looks original. Let's just see what the blade looks like here. Yeah, the blade looks nice. It's a Robert Class. Um, I don't see a, uh, I don't see a group of mark. Do you see a group of mark there, Rob? No. Just a scratch, no. But it's not a, uh, it's not an SA pop, it's an SS. Uh, well, I mean a district mark. District mark, mark um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled with this. The cross guards are, don't look right to me either. Um, we'll have to take a look at this one, guys. Okay, guys, um, I'm still looking at this SS dagger, and I went up and got another drink. What do you think? Should we open it up, you guys? Take a look at the inside. I just can't resist it. Let's, let's see what we got here. I hope it's a good thing, but I don't know. We shall see. I don't know. Bob's not too uh, optimistic. High on it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like it either, do you? I like the scabbard. That's about it. Yeah. The school well, the scabbard's real. Yeah. But let's see what we got here. First of all, this is a very, very odd thing here. The um, the tang nut actually is slightly too big for the for the hole. See, it doesn't it doesn't uh, it, it you have to press it in, and uh, that's something you wouldn't see. And this um, this cross guard here. That's it's not for glued. fitting. It's, it's, not a it's glued on to the fitting. Yeah. Yeah. No. This is a. Uh, what you have, collectors, the um, the blade is real. Nothing wrong with the blade. Um, the cross guards just are not. Uh, they're not the right shape. Oops! And see where somebody ground all of this out here to fit that to the tang. Now, Pop, I know you're the king of the SS daggers. You think that blade's okay? Yeah, I do, yeah. 
Yeah, I think the blade's okay. They just um, they just ground the hell out of it to fit it in here. I think the blade's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the dagger. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, see this, collectors. This is not something you want to see. Uh, an amateur put this together and ground that all out so that he could get the tang through the uh, through the grip. So, uh, what we can say here is that we have a um, uh, a put together piece. Some original parts, some not original. Um, another thing too. See the tang sticks out higher than the uh, the cross guard you don't normally see that on regular daggers when you see that it's time to look further too I was it's wondering why there's there were so many yeah. so many threads to get it out I yeah. see why because the tang is, is uh, longer than it is. there's a lot of problems with that one yeah be cautious yeah so see collectors sometimes um, when you look at the dagger and you think, eh, just something not right here about it, and then if you look inside, that usually uh, usually tells the tale. So, well, what are you going to do? It's uh, just the way it is sometimes. Everything's not always uh, uh, perfect in this hobby or right. So you got to do your homework a little bit, and uh, so. Anyhow, we got two nice daggers out of that. Uh, that third one, I'm afraid, is going to have to uh, be sent home. Or where would you rather send it? <laughs> Did you ever hear of an <laughs> item called a trash can? <laughs> well, I don't want to say that. That's too insulting. But... Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, that's a shame that SS was, is not um, not what we want to see. So yeah. let's hope for a better one next time. Hmm. All right, let's see what else we got here. Moving right along. Got a big box here. Hopefully the Bob Burns cutter will handle the duty. Sir. Oh. Uh, let's see what happens here. Hey Pop, you uh you didn't introduce your uh cufflinks this time. I did that last time. I know, but what are you wearing today? Oh, I didn't show these <laughs> last time. I forgot to show these. They're naval. <laughs> Cufflinks. I like them a lot. Oh, no kidding. See there? Naval. Imperial Naval. Yeah. Imperial Naval, yep. Very nice. Yep. Old fashioned and all. They're very good. You and your French cuffs. I thought I showed you all my cuffs before, but I guess I forgot a couple of them. Part two. <laughs> yeah, part two, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Part two. Is this just a filler? Yeah, that's just a filler. Okay, let's see what we got here. Got the old Bob Burns cutter rack in here. Yeah. All right. I guess this is a sword, guys. Or it's three daggers glued together. I think it's a sword. Let's see what we got here. Getting there. I thought we were getting there, but maybe not. Try to get it from this end. And Okay. Oh, I like this. 
Yeah, very nice. Yeah, this is a um, uh, a basic army NCO uh, that during the period uh, was ordered with the SS runes put into it. Got a nice uh, nice knot on it. It's gonna be something on the blade. No, but it's made by um, Alcozo. And uh, I remember the uh, the sender telling me that this exact piece is pictured in my um, SS book, so I'll have to look and look and see. Uh, but that's a nice um, nice basic uh, SS NCO sword there. Uh, these would have been made uh, ordered early on and so forth. Um, uh, so it's uh, which the trademark is a real early Alcozo too. Uh, that real small mark with the scales and uh, that goes back to 35 or 36 so that fits right in with the sword also um, very nice I, uh, I yeah. like that scabbards in oh. good shape can you show me the runes oh I didn't oh. No. that's the most important part yeah you just thought it was an army NCO sword? Well, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was hoping oh. for an inscription. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, not too bad. What do you value something like that at? Um, not astronomically. Uh, I don't know. Maybe somewhere twenty-five to three thousand, something like that. Uh, I'll have to look, and I don't know what the consigner wants for it either, so I shouldn't say. But we'll see. But it's it's worth in that in that range. But it is an original piece, and the fact that it's in my book too uh, might be something that collectors like. I don't know. All right, that's good. Now. Yeah. What we got of, we got a great big box that came from uh, Europe. And, uh, uh, I don't have a clue what's in it. So it's a good thing. The man, the man said that he's uh, he's sent me pictures of a humongous collection, huge amount of stuff, and he said he's going to start sending me some things. So this um, this. Big, 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 big box here, which is really, must weigh 75 pounds or so, I don't know, it's really heavy. Uh, I'll just open the, uh, well, I'm not going to open anything because I lost my cutter. Ah, oh, here it is. All right, collectors, we're going to tackle this big box from Europe here, and uh, uh, Ob just asked me, do you know what's in it? I said no, I don't have a clue, and it's true, I do not. So you're uh, you're saying this the same time as I am. So let's hope there's some some good stuff. It looks like the the box traveled fairly well here. It's not too beat up. As long as it's not loaded with olive or something, we're in good shape. Well, let's see. So far, I see a lot of blankets. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, somebody's wife's uh, nighty. I don't think anybody wants that. I know I don't. Let's see what's in here. A couple of things. Did you want that, Bob? You don't think so? No. Oof. <laughs> you sure that's not from the war? No, it looks, looks pretty rough. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, this is just a couple of things that are on the very top. There's tons more here, so I don't know what uh, this may be. Uh, too long to even do on the video. I don't know. We'll do the best we can. 
Looks like you got a lot of good European okay. rubber bands. I get paid by the hour, so. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, here we go. Yeah, good start. There's a Hitler Youth knife with a great hanger. <laughs> somebody threw that's a period yeah. hanger. I don't you know, it's not original to it, but it was done during the period. And uh, oh, nice blade on it, not bad at all. It's a blued scabbard and um oh it's a gefrath. We've seen them before. But uh, that's not a bad piece at all. So now. Ah, it's alright. You don't see graph on there often. Yeah, once in a while you do, yeah. <laughs> um, it's uh, from 1938, right after they stopped putting the, um, the motto on the blade. And let's see what's in this wrapping here. More rubber bands. Well, it looks like a, uh, a regular hunting cutlass, shooting cutlass. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> boy, that's getting old, Whitman. Jeez Louise. Yeah, yeah this is not too bad. It's, a, um, it's an Alcozo early piece with that early mark on it. Uh, probably comes from the... Uh, um, Imperial time or the Weimar time, uh, but it's a it's okay piece. Nothing wrong with that. I like those stag grips. Yeah, or the nice. shooting cutlass. Yeah, they're always nice. Yeah. Let's see what else is in here. You've got another package here on the table. Oh, this. Yeah, I didn't open this up. Cellophane. See what's in here. That's it. <laughs> uh, so, so, well, we'll show this to you guys. I don't know what that is, but uh, we'll have to research it. You ever see anything like that, Ob? Mm, no. Can't say I have. No. It looks like a an original um, ticket for like, something, or yeah, thirty-eight. Yeah. Well, we'll look. We'll look into that. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. Yeah. Yeah. The old uh, Jack Angolia. Every book I've ever seen Jack Angle Angolia sign. Onward and upward. Jack Angolia. Oh, that was his thing, huh? I guess. Yeah. I wonder how he's doing these days. I haven't seen him in years. I hope he's still around. The guy certainly contributed an awful lot to this hobby with the wonderful, wonderful books that he wrote. Uh, he, he got that right. I don't know what we would do without a lot of those Jack and Goliath books. Uh, a lot of people have taken what he did and gone from there too, but he was the guy that, that started a lot of that stuff. Uh, well, here's an interesting uh, photo here of a, I guess, an H.J. kid. I don't know whether it's a painting or a print or kind of nice, though. It looks like an older H.J. kid because he has a mustache. He must have been ready to go into the R.A.D. <laughs> you think of? He looks Italian. He looks Italian, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, Germany stretches almost right over there to Italy, so uh, it's pretty close. Okay, there you go. You know you're right, Avi. does look Italian. Let me check it out again. Let me see. I'll tell okay. you if it's a painting or not. It's not a painting. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. Uh, I think it's a print, but I'll have to look. We'll see. It's Guido... Uh, <laughs> Heimerschmidt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got here. It looks like another another frame and something or other. 
Hmm, perhaps it's his brother or his sister. Yeah, in the BDM. In the BDM, yeah. And she has a mustache too? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 All right, this is getting crazy now. <clears throat> if it is a BDM girl with a mustache, well, that'll be I'm funny. I tell you, it really yeah, would be. A... <laughs> 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 ah, that looks like a very touched-up oh. air bowls. Such a handsome man. Uh, he was not that good looking, even though uh, uh, Goebbels was who Goebbels was. But that, that's that been touched up quite a bit to uh, put his best features forward. But anyhow, I know I would like to have a photo of oh, Goebbels yeah. above my bed. Who wouldn't? And he's got his golden party badge on too. What's next? Is Don Rickles gonna come out of the box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Well, he's starting me out slow here, I guess, you know. And let's see what else we got here. This is uh says he's in the front of the entrance. To the cellar which served as the air raid shelter in Sudetenland. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, that's where you go. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Where would you ever see something like that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's not wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Look from Swamp. Yeah, look from Sudetenland. So there you go, guys. All right, moving right along. We still got a lot of stuff in here. Loop. It says NSKOV pull top, very rare piece by Otto Gar. All right, let's see what see what this baby looks like. Oh, it's heavy, I'll tell you that. Uh, let's see, I got rubber band to death here. You say you like the rubber bands in the next and then you bitch about them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had popcorn, cellophane, rubber bands, and, and regular bubble wrap. So. All right, he's right. It is an NSKOV pull top. Yep. So that's pretty neat. All brass. All brass, right? Yeah. Not All one brass. Of those aluminum ones. Yeah. Uh, original. Got yeah. a DRGM mark on the uh, flute. Uh, it's copper, actually. Yeah. See how green it is? No, I think it's brass. Uh, no, I, the. Um, uh, the mounting bracket's not marked, but uh, this is a real early, early, uh, early, early piece. Yeah, I think you're right. It's really early. Yeah, very, very early. So I wouldn't have a DRGM. Yeah, that's cool. I like that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're collecting pole tops, uh, they're not uh, that easy to find. They usually come in aluminum, though. Yeah. Well, that's why it's because it's early. Uh, all right, so that's okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, it looks like a mass of uh, belts and buckles. Now uh, we'll just see what we got here quickly. There we are. I don't know what that is. SA, SA buck, probably. There's another one that looks more like an officer, NSKK, probably. Oops, and another one.
Oh my goodness, and don't, you don't even see these things, and here's another one. Wow. Yeah. You want to bet there's another one? Yes. <laughs> what are my odds? Yeah. Yeah. There's another one, too. I think these are NSKK officers, but uh, we'll check them out. Well, no professor on these, but rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. Then this one's an oval, somewhat rounded. Yeah, this one looks a little yeah. different. But, uh, but anyhow, guys, there you go. Hey, Dad, can you check them out? See if there's a mark on the buck or anything inside. Or yeah, here's a guy's name in here, Ingrid Schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's got the guy's name on it too. Oh, they're all original. They they you know they're let's see. No, nothing on this one. But that doesn't mean uh, it's not right. Nothing on this one either. It's well used. Yeah, they're good, uh, good belts and buckles. They are, and you don't really see these that often. I don't see anything on that one either. But okay, here we go, guys. Thank you. All right, still more stuff in here. Box inside a box. Open here. Yet. Any cutters around here? There we go. Oh. Oh, wow, this is a to be quite something. Let's see what the... Looks like it opens from this side. The period catches on it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Africa core, is that? Wow. Everything is taped down in here. It's been like that forever. Don't, yeah. Don't. Yeah. We won't. We won't bother to un unnural all that. But um, uh, this is this is quite impressive. Uh, Boy, that is very impressive. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. This this uh, comes like that. Isn't that something? Uh, Everything looks though as though they they have just the swaths on them. I'd love to look at the other side of one of them and see if there's anything on the other side. No, it's just a trademark. Well, this looks like it came from some uh, officer's uh, Africa Corps setup. He must have been uh, uh, set up in one of Tobruk or someplace, and uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, whatever it is, it's original. 
It's another different eagle too. Yeah, nice army eagle. And actually there's a stamp on the underside if you can lock it up and flip it for the uh, collectors. What do you mean? What do you want me to do? I want you to lock it up and flip it. Flip it upside down? I'll just turn it around. Yeah. Yeah, there's something here. Or is the M marked? Yeah, there. Something. There. I could tell them they're rare mark property, they're rare marked. And that's been there for a long, long time. Oh, How did you know to do that, Ob? <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good thing. I wouldn't have noticed that. That's very good. Yeah, whatever this is, it's yeah, a, that's it's a nice a, piece there. The original yep. uh, thing. Quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Still got some more here. More? Yeah, a couple more things. Another box. How come my ice doesn't last, but yours does? Um, because my hands are much colder than yours. <laughs> Cold heart. <laughs> if you're in this business, you have to have a cold heart. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. There we go. I think that's a great piece. I never say anything like that. No, I never have any other. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. And it should be sold as a unit, you know, you wouldn't break it up. No, you're not going to break it up. An interesting thing. <laughs> it's more of his wife's nighty. <laughs> oh, wow, this is nice. photo album in its original box and look at the preservation of it. All right, Jay. I wonder if it's an unissued album. It might not have anything in it. Might not. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. It's never been used. Yeah, it's just an unissued uh, photo isn't that album. Cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Leftover, you know? Yeah, that's cool. I like that. R.E.D. Hmm. I've never seen that before. In a... Imagine if you had a stack of R.A.D. Uh, photographs oh, and <laughs> didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> well, I think that's pretty neat just the way it is. Yeah, I like it. I like the way it is. Yeah, this guy has some stuff that you don't see normally. Uh, uh, that's uh, it's good stuff. I think he's from... Uh, Suzice, S U S I C E. Uh, that's probably a word for a country that we don't use. Uh, so this could be Ukraine, who, who knows? What did you say it was again? Uh, S U S I C E. That's Swiss. Suzice or something. Okay. Uh, I think this is almost the last. It's a, uh, I won't take it out of the wrappings, but you can see it's an NSDAP sign. We'll take a look at that later. And, uh, one more thing here. Another box. Bob Bob Burns cutter. Bob Burns cutter. We found it that time. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys. I love you. Yep. I thought we were popcorn free, but uh, no, I'm right, the popcorn is for free. Let's see what this is now. This seems to be the last item in the box. Oh, it 
looks like it. You know. It's definitely a Tino. Yep. The cellophane covering. Gotta be careful with this. I don't want to cut anything that I don't want to cut. There's no way there's a hanger on that thing. No. Tino Hewer. Oh, there goes your phone, Ob. I know. Yeah. I apologize. Mm. Okay, guys. <coughs> Obviously, we got a Tino Hewer here. It's not in um, bad condition. Um, most of the plating is all here. Just a little bit of flaking at the top. I got one little tiny chip in the grip there. Um, the uh, paint on the scabbard is nice, and the scabbard mounts are nice. Still got most of the black and the cog wheel and the eagle. Let's see what the blade looks like. And it's okay. Uh, Do the numbers match? That's the key. Well, we shall see here. Um, five, six, four, one. Five, six, four, one. Yes, bingo. And with the icorn trademark and so forth. So that's not a mint uh, Tino, but it's still collectible. Uh, and I'm sure it'll be priced accordingly. So, I think that's, uh, that's it in this box, I think, oh, no, oh, sorry guys, still more, <laughs> got time to look at this last thing here, we still got any battery left on that, that not camera? much, not much, no, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna go, oh, this looks like something interesting, uh, See what we got here. Remember the guy with the little cars? He was like, bop, 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 and he got through it all fast and all commercials. You need to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this looks like a. Uh, looks uh, like a nice DAF not banner. Not one, but two DAF banners. Yeah. So there you go. That's good stuff. So I think that's about it. Um, a lot of stuff that we never saw before because it's coming from Eastern Europe and that area. Uh, I believe, I'm not sure, but uh, I think that's where it's coming from. Uh, so, and it's just the first of uh, what he says, a lot more to come. So we'll have, uh, we'll have more boxes from, from this man, hopefully. Uh, so uh, I guess that's um, that about does it for us on uh, number 75. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of different stuff, didn't we, Ob? It was uh, yeah, it's a good yeah, one. Um, pretty long, I guess. Sorry about that. But uh, anyhow, we'll uh, we'll see you next time and keep writing those comments in on the videos. I like to read them. And again, if I can help you with anything, I'm always here. See ya.